place on you, pure and undefiled religion. Jesus says, come and follow me. Come and follow me and I'll give you eternal life. And it's this, that you're gonna know the Father. You're gonna know the Father. Raise your hands up. I just declare over you, victory is sure. Victory is sure. When victory is the Lord's, give it to Him. Give it to Him. Give it to Him. Every part of your life, give it to the Lord right now. Just say, I surrender it. 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 Victory is sure. Because victory is yours. Victory is sure. Yeah. because I sing so high. It reminds me, I just started getting the giggles there for a second when I was asking you to sing. It's, it's just like I sing so high. Sing along with me. It reminds me, this time I was in this worship service, no kidding. No matter whatever you think of, like, speaking in tongues, like, whatever you think about it, this is just funny, so just listen. Okay, and this guy, <laughs> this guy's leading worship. This friend of mine's leading worship, and he's like, all right. I'm going to speak in tongues now. Everybody follow along. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> oh, man. So sometimes I feel like that when I'm singing. Everybody follow. Oh, <laughs> oh man.
for a second if you want. You don't have to go back to your seat. You can bring it back in front. Probably be able to hear that. You don't have to go back to your. Can you turn this on? You don't have to go back to your seats. Just sit down for a second. Let me tell you this story. Um, uh, I was, I had the opportunity to uh, uh, be reading this book by a man named George Weigel, or Weigel. It's called The Cube in the Cathedral. I recommend it. It's a great little book. And, uh, and at the time I was reading this book, he, he, was, he was talking about how, how in Europe, the only place in Europe that has a positive population growth due to the issues of abortion is Ireland. And uh, it's because, because obviously of its Catholic influence. And <clears throat> the only other place in Europe that has a positive population growth right now is is. Is France, and the reason France has a has a positive population growth is because they uh, they have so many Muslims there, and Muslims don't they don't they don't abort their babies; they evangelize with them. And so, it was it, it was a real he's a Catholic writer, and it's a real strong statement because he's speaking in the cube of the in the cathedral to to literally he's speaking to not only the church in America but to. Anyone who, anyone who has any semblance of understanding of, 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 of the nation and understanding of where we're headed, we're headed, like, we're headed down a real road of destruction. In fact, Mother Teresa in 1997 prophesied because she had the guts to and she had the strength to and nobody could say anything about it. Right in front of the president, everybody in 1997, she prophesied over our nation. I believe it was a prophecy. It was a, it was a declared word of truth no matter if people had ears to hear it or not. And she said these words, it's very interesting. She said, it is, you can get it online. 1997 speech by Mother Teresa. I think it's the World Day of Prayer. And she said this, she said, she was talking about love and how love is really expressed through It's really expressed through taking care of the poor, but she said there's an area that it's even expressed more in, and that's taking care of the unborn child. And she said these words, she said, how could somebody believe that a child is not a child while yet in, this mo in, the, in mother's womb? <clears throat> when Jesus ministered to John the Baptist while he was still in his mother's womb. And, uh, And so she challenged us, and I think a lot of times now, you know, it's like a real popular thing to take care of the poor. And Mother Teresa did a lot of that, and we should be at work in that. But the issue of abortion should not be a political issue in America to Christians. This isn't Democrat or Republican. Democrats and Republicans are both to blame for the issue of abortion. But you know who's really to blame? If the church in America... We're not talking about, I could give you a whole litany of things that both parties are anti-Christ on. And anybody that's a Christian, you better stay clear of that political stuff because that's all shaken. We should be offended. Christians in America should be offended. Especially evangelical Christians, but there's a lot of Christians in America. I am offended that they place us as a subculture group of the Republican Party. I don't care what your politics are. We should be offended. I'm not a Republican. I am a Christian. I follow Jesus. We have lost our voice of influence. No, and, and, and I'm standing in an evangelical church, but seriously, the Catholic Church has us. They have the evangelical church because they are consistent. They are not political. 